Is this episode? I was just looking to see what episode this is. What episode is it? I think it's number 18. <gasps> Woohoo! I we thought it might be number 20. by cigarettes now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was trying to think about it. Bye, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Welcome to The Snack Show with Jamie Fallon. We're just a couple gals snacking our way through life and talking about it. Sipping and laughing and snacking and chatting. <gasps> Majors! <laughs> Food tastes better with funny friends. I just laid the snack down is what I'm saying. Ooh. This is your first time in a podcast studio. Jamie, why in the H-E double pretzel sticks did we start a podcast? That's a great question that I don't remember the answer to. Jamie, it is cold in the studio, but my very... mind is warm and hot. Why is my mind warm and hot right now? Because we are talking about the beach, Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go down to Kokomo? Get there fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where we wanna go. Wow. When I come. And we're out. That's all we're bringing today on the podcast. Today was a singing pod brought to you by <laughs> the, the Snack, snack show. show. So today on the Snack Show, we are talking not about Kokomo, but the beach. The beach. Which beach we just snacks. listed several of those. Yeah. So take our snack ideas to any of those beaches. I cannot tell you. How much I love the beach. I can express the same because I actually grew up on the beach. Same, same. Girl, you had, well, you had the ocean. I had the lake. That's true. But Lake Michigan, I grew up on Lake Michigan, and it is, looks like an ocean. It's so vast and so wide. It is. And there's sand at the beach. Yes, girl. Uh, Yeah, I've seen pictures. So much. Yes. I grew up at the beach. I feel like I am my most self in a bathing suit, just eating snacks and not caring about anything. Same, same. Now, how far away was your home from the beach? 11 minutes. Okay. Maybe with traffic? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mine was three. Well, look at you. So close. Look at you. I'm not better. I'm just saying... We were close to we the were. beach. We were. I actually, my house um, was on built on the bluff, so you overlook Lake Michigan. It was literally the most uh, beautiful upbringing of my life. Tell us she's rich. That's what I heard. Mm, daddy dentist. Dad is. Oh, daddy dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I know that and uh, we lived biking distance from the beach. I know that. Oh, but I don't for know sure. driving distance. Yeah, I guess in, I'm guessing tennis. Maybe 15. Also depends on when. Mm -hmm. Now is probably a lot longer than it was when Mm -hmm. I was a kid because traffic in Southern California. Ooh, craziness. Um, So what we're saying is we are legit beach snack spurts. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I have eaten a lot of food and I've been to the beach a lot. Therefore, I am an expert. Yes, yes, yes. Now, what kind of beach goer are you? Do you sit close to the water, away from the water? Are you a two-piece or are you a one-piece? You know what? I just let the spirit lead me. Every in time, both, in, in, both. in all of those decisions. <laughs> Sometimes I want to, and who else is there? Sure. I just like to, you know, decide on that day. What is the weather like? How am I feeling? Mm-hmm. Who's around me? What's going on? Do you use a beach umbrella or do you do sun, sun, sun? I've actually never taken me a beach either. umbrella. But I think I'm getting to the age where I'm going to start bringing one. The only time I've done it is when I've gone to the beach with my friends who have kids. Oh, fair. Yeah, those kiddos, they get hot, hot, They hot. do. Have you seen those little half tents that you can buy for the beach? Tell me, moss. It's literally like tent material, but it's just one side. So there's no door. So it's just wide open in the front. So it's just like a little cove to sit in, but you're in the shade. Oh, man. Sign me up. I know. I, I kind it. of, if there was a life size, not life size, if there was mm-hmm. an adult size, because sure. children are alive too. Yep. <laughs> um... <laughs> I would have one of those. Nice. You know, that would be perfect to have your face in the shade, and then but your like body out. out. Yeah. Which you could do under an umbrella, but it just feels like an easier pop-up than like, umbrellas just always tip over. Oh, always. I was literally at the beach uh, not too long ago, and someone's um, umbrella got whipped up by the wind, and off it flew down the beach. Yeah, Almost I don't want to marry Papa myself when I'm at the um, beach. No, thank you. Me neither. No, Me thank neither. you. Um, Fallon, I have uh, shocking news. Stop. Did you do research? I did. And I just thought we could talk about some fun beach facts before we talk about beach 
food. That's such a great idea. Oh my goodness, look at you. Did go. you do the same thing? Yes. Okay, great. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Great. Wow. <laughs> I actually didn't um do research today, maybe because my little mind did some um what's it called when you can read each other's mind? Um tel- tel- telepathy? No. Nope. nope, that's wrong. Um mental tel- tel- telepathy. Telepathy. Tel- telepathy? I don't think it's It sounds tel- like I'm saying tilapia. Mhm. Um whatever that is. I because you read my mind. Because I read that cute little mind. I was like, she's got it taken care of this week. Okay, so I just was looking around just to just, I have a lot of beach snacks, but I was like, you know, I just want some refreshers. Maybe there's some things that will be yeah, helpful. Yeah. But there was a site that it said 44 fun beach facts. And <gasps> I thought, well, I need to know all 44 of those. I'm only going to list four that I thought were the highlights. Wait, out of 44, you're just giving me four. Yeah, I don't, a lot of them are, we just don't need to read. Also, okay. this is a Florida website, so a lot of them are about for Florida specific Ooh, beaches. Got it. Which I've been to, but we're, okay. we're here for all beaches. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be curious about the other 40, but I'll let it go. I'll send you the link later. Okay, great. Okay, so one fun fact that I thought was interesting, Okay. also kind of gross, white sand beaches come from parrot fish poop. <laughs> I don't know what a parrotfish is. I didn't go any further than this. What? 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 But are we? When white uh, sand beaches are like the epitome of beaches, like a fancy, yes, right? Yes, like they're the softest ones. They're bougie, and you're laying on poop. Wait, so you're telling me those aren't kernels of sand? Those are little poop nuggets. It says <laughs> white sand beaches <laughs> come from parrotfish poop. So is it like hardened? You know, like a cat in a I in a cat box. Very confused. <laughs> in a cat box when it like crystallizes when it's poop. Is that what we're laying on? I okay. don't know. I, I digress. Know. I digress. I just want to leave that out there. No more. I can't. I want to be thinking I'm sitting on poop now when I go to the beach every day. Okay. Keep going. Keep okay. Going. Also, what's a parrotfish? But I couldn't go any further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't go any further. I can sure. only do so much research. Sure. Okay. The very first public beach in the United States is Revere Beach in Massachusetts. Massachusetts? But think about... Where the colonies were, so that would be That's the fair. only like nobody was in California yeah. or Florida. Do you or, think it's where that like, hook Michigan. is? I don't know. I also didn't. I didn't get any further than this website. Sure, I would sure. like to clarify one more time. Do you understand time. my pain when you ask me questions? <laughs> I do. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay. Um, next, next, next. Guess what percent of Earth's surface is water? Oh, it's it's a big it's a bigger number than we think. I'm gonna say eighty percent. If this was the Price is Right, you went too high. Oh, 75? Ooh, ooh. 70? 71. 71. Third, shoot, shoot, shoot. Third times, third times a charm adjacent number. <laughs> <laughs> Water covers 71% of our surface. Yeah, so isn't that wild? Just think how many beaches are available to us. So many. So many beaches. So okay, many. and then my last f- fun fact that I read okay. is, I'm going to do this to you because you always turn everything into a game. <laughs> In which century did beaches first become popular? Ooh, ooh, ooh. In the okay. whole world. This mm-hmm. isn't the U.S. This mm-hmm. is just... Centuries. Okay. I'm going to say the 6th century. Wow. You are... I'm feeling better about getting all of your questions wrong because you've not gotten none of mine. This is making me... But am I I'm close? Just, I'm soaring in my heart right now. Okay. No. Not not even oh, a man. little bit. Okay. You I went, was thinking the 500s. You went way back to the yeah, future I went back, too back, far. Back, 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 back. back. Beaches first became popular destinations in the mid 18th century in Europe. Really? Which means that is the mid 1700s. Yes. Correct? So that seems too late. Too late. You know what? Jesus went to a beach. I, was I am say, sure the of the Sea it. of Galilee. There, there's not beach. Come on. But that's a sea. Uh, that's like a. Isn't is it a sea? It's called the Sea of Galilee, it but is. it's landlocked, right? Mm-mm. Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay. I'm more closer to God. That's fine. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> Wow, I really oh, got, got me. <laughs> Oh, that got me so good. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Wow. Okay, back, back, back. Okay, so those are just some fun beach facts that those we don't need to spend a whole episode. Now let's talk about our actual favorite thing, food. Snacks, yeah. Okay, I was looking up snacks. Yes. There's a whole CNN article about snacks to take to the beach. So, like, CNN? this is a very important topic. Uh, I mean, hot news, hot news. Yeah. Um, I will say, in my expert opinion, when you're going to the beach... And you're bringing snacks. You got to bring a cooler. Okay, I'll. I'll Don't you think so? With that. Even if it's not like necessarily a refrigerated item, 
I just think having cooler snacks is better when you're on the beach because you're not going to want to be eating warm. Well, you're usually snacks. hot when you're at the beach, so you need cold exactly. things to keep you cool. Exactly. So the first thing you need before you even think about the snacks, make sure you have a case that's a cooler that to bring them in. Unless you're staying at a house on the beach, then you can walk back and forth. That is the one time I will concede. And I need you to send me my, your number so I can join you on the next trip because that sounds very bougie. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll start in ICAL. Okay, great. Um... Let's, I just want to, let's just share our faves, right? Okay, you go first. Okay, my favorite first item to bring to the beach, pretzels. That was in a lot of the articles. It's true. You know why? Why? You don't want any snack that really leaves a lot of residue on your hands because you're already dealing with the sand or maybe the parrotfish poop. And you just don't need to have any more residue on your hands. And who really brings napkins to the beach? I mean, I do in my cooler, if I'm being honest, I'm prepared. But you want to bring snacks that don't have a lot of, um, Again, residue. So for me, pretzels, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That is a very easy snack. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. love a pretzel, but if it's like there and it's given to me, I'll eat it. Yeah. But it's nothing I ever seek out on my own. Right. And I'm, to be fair, I'm talking about regular pretzels because like honey mustard pretzels are some of my faves, but you're going to have those yellow sticky fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dots really give you some right. resi- finger residue. Right. I mean, I guess you could do the licky, licky, licky. But again, I will say one of my favorites is just chips. Chips, got it. Any kind of chips. Yep, I which agree. is kind of similar, mm-hmm. unless we're talking Cool Ranch Doritos, and then that is residue city. Right, 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 right. But really, just like crunchy chips. Crunchy I don't chips. know why. Yep. Any, you give me a chip, and I will crush that bag at the mm-hmm, beach. Mm-hmm. Um, to go along with those chips, I actually like to pack myself a sandwich. Oh, a hundred percent. We're gonna make this a picnic. Yes, mm-hmm. I. I think it's because I've done this, not because this is a beach snack, but because mm-hmm. it happened to me at the beach. I, one time we were we went to Publix, yep. and we got the <gasps> buffalo chicken, like it's sliced sandwich meat, but it's oh, buffalo chicken cool. flavor. And On a pub sub? I just make the sandwich myself. Oh, okay, great. But it's just from Publix. Okay. The, the meat is. I okay. think it's boar's head. I think you can get it anywhere. It sure. just happened to be a Publix on a beach trip. Yes. But man, a buffalo chicken sandwich. We've had buffalo chicken arugula, mm. tomato, yes. mayonnaise, some okay. salts. I'm oh, in. I, I love a sandwich. In. But I'll even go PB&J at the beach. Mm-hmm. True, true, that true. That is the easy peasy, like fast. Yep. It's just there. You also don't have to think, like, is this meat, if it's not that cool, if you don't mm-hmm. have a cooler, is this meat going to be weird in an hour or two? Mm-hmm. Can we quick back handspring to what I just said? One of my favorites is a pub sub. I do love a pub sub. Yeah, yes, just yes, go yes. to Publix. They'll give you your pub sub. You just have to watch them and cheer them on. And you go to the beach, bring your snacks at from mm-hmm. Publix, choose whatever you want. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Okay, next on your list. Um, I had sandwich too, so. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, I, yeah. ping pong back to me. Yes. Um, Cheez-Its, of course. Reduced fat cheeses? Of course. Yes. Do you even have to question? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Watermelon. Nice. Because it has the rind, so you're not actually holding any of the fruit that you're eating. So if your mm-hmm. hands are kind of sandy, yep. you're not having to worry about that. That is fair. But it's a great fruit to eat where you have something to hold on to. Yep. I agree with that, except I will say, don't forget to pack your trash bags then. Why? You have to put the rind in something. Oh, I just usually... You feeding it to the seagulls? I just put it in the bag my Sammy was in. <gasps> See? Resourceful. Yeah. Love it. Love it so much. Oh, my gosh. What if I just threw the rind in the ocean? <sighs> mm. I think it's biodegradable, so... But yeah. I don't I don't think if I was, like, out surfing, I'd want to be like, Ugh! Oh, that was a watermelon rind <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, next. Just fruit in general. Yeah. I could bring just a medley of pre-cut fruit, bring a plastic fork, watch me go. What's a fruit that you would not want included in that? Um, the correct answer is honeydew. I like honeydew. Wow. I like cantaloupe more, but I like honeydew. Oh, yeah. Get that honeydew out of here. What about it? The sweetness? It's just, I have... I guess if it's perfect honeydew, there's just like honeydew is the life where it's like bad, 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 good for two hours, bad, 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 bad. So it's either too mushy or too like white and not ready. Okay. I just, I'd never get the perfect honeydew experience. So it's just Mm. out of here. Okay. It's too fickle. Sounds like your dating life. It does. It's just an emotional creature. You're looking for that perfect one (laughs) and he's just never around. Hey, Jamie. What? Did you ever study a language in high school or college? Two of them. Oh, tell me more. Spanish and American Sign Language. I also studied Spanish, and I actually studied it for like eight years. More than me. Yeah. Well, my best friend 
I don't know if you know this, Whitney, she lives in Florence, Italy. So recently I've been trying to learn some Italian. So I had a goal for this month to practice Italian every day and I'm so excited. And this is great timing because did you hear about our new sponsor called Babbel? I have. So Babbel is helping me do just that. It is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. It's super fun, super easy, and it's just a great way to learn a new language. That is so cool. Thanks. It's such an awesome way to be able to use the app, whether you're traveling around, it's during your lunch break, or even if you just have some free time in the car. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. Their 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. And it's super cool because the lessons were created by over 100 language experts, rather than just like an AI computer guy. Oh my goodness, we definitely want to be learning from those experts. Are we right? Yes. Amen. Also, Jamie, their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. So like, where do I sign up, right? Yeah. Um, Okay, Jamie, I have a question for you. You can choose up to 14 different languages on Babbel. There's like Spanish, French, Italian, German. Which one would you choose? Pig Latin. (gasps) Uh, I have some news for you. That is actually not a language. So sorry. But also, if you chose something like Italian, like me, Babbel's speech recognition technology will help you to improve an Italian accent and pronunciation. That's the best because I was the worst at speaking Spanish in school. Same, same, same. So besides using the app, guess what? You can also access podcasts. That's great. Games, videos, stories, and even live classes with Babbel. I love that so much. And um, if for some crazy reason you don't like Babbel, which you're going to love it, it does come with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So right now, if you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription... Wait, right now? Yes, right now. If you purchase a three-month subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. (gasps) That means you get six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code SNACKSHOW. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com code SNACKSHOW. Ciao. See, it's already working. Okay, now... Oh, I have a good one. Is it your turn? It's my turn. Okay, sorry. But, but to, we're just going to continue on this fruit thing. Okay. Frozen grapes. Yes, 100%. Because then they're still cold. They're usually not like frozen, frozen by you when you have it because you're outside. Yes. But it is cool and it's like a sweet treat, but it's yep. fruit. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. I'm 100% in. Now, flashback to our kids episode. Um, remember when we said we both hated peas? Yes. I have to admit something to you. What? I love frozen peas. To eat? Have you ever tried them? Only on my sprained ankles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, they taste kind of like tiny ice creams. No, that's a hard pass. I will say, I do like peas in chicken pot pie. Oh. But it's mixed in with cream and chicken yeah, and other, other things. It's kind of being disguised. But that is the only time I will eat a pea. Yeah, but no peas at the beach. No. No, we don't need that. No. Okay, are you ready for my next one? Yes. Crackers, specifically Triscuits. Okay. Rosemary and olive oil. Those are my favorite of the Triscuits, but come, I just come on don't the feel come. like a, a a beach thing. It is. Okay. It absolutely I is. I mean, I trust you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's one of my faves. Okay. My next is a beverage. Oh, I love it. That's where I was going to go to next. I have a hot take. I think I've said this before. I don't like spicy water, a.k.a. LaCroix. Sure. But at the beach... A coconut LaCroix You're with a little bit it. of coconut rum mixed in. Uh huh. It is the beach treat <gasps> that any adult can participate in and love. Oh, I am totally with you on that. The coconut LaCroix is such a polarizing topic. It and is. And I am on the side of cheer, cheer, mo for me. Yes. I love it so much. I love it. I can't but there's it. only something about it being hot, me feeling hot and then drinking it mm-hmm. that it feels like the right move. You know, I think it's like after putting on your like coconut oil and then drinking it, it's just all the yeah, coconut Yeah, yeah. I've sensation. been smelling sunscreen for a few hours <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have to give a shout out to one of my new favorite, new within the past couple of years, new favorite beach drinks and it's local here in nashville although it's you can get it um, even though we have none beaches here it's true funny 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 well percy Prees, you can no. find a little that's a no beach Mm-mm. here and there no 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 um walker brothers kombucha have oh, you heard of her i have heard i've heard of her uh-huh they came up with this kombucha business um so good and hot take i am not a kombucha fan but this is the one kombucha that i like am in love with um and they have the best flavors for the beach let me just give them to you citrus great ginger oof blueberry okay back um watermelon in 
So the the best part about them, they have both regular kombucha and then hard kombucha. Oh. So you need to get, have a little pal with your Malibu. Okay. I'm going to be cheersing you with Walker Brothers High Grav. My personal favorite is Blueberry Jasmine. Wow. And that then is they so just fancy. came out with a high gravity blueberry juniper. Oh my goodness. What does gracious. high gravity mean? Um, alcohol. Oh, that's mm-hmm. the hard. High gravity equals adults only. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, great. um, and uh, I don't think they have it anymore, but they'll like release um special flavors every once in a while. And they did a passion fruit um a couple summers ago. That's a long journey to get <sighs> this mean, local kombucha to the beach, though. You know, it's so worth it. Well, again, they have distributed to other cities, so they're in Atlanta. I think somewhere also in no North beaches Carolina. There. <laughs> No beaches, depending on unless it's Wilmington. That's no, not true. There's other beaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, there is another drink that I love. And I think it's because I started doing this as a kid at the pool. So mm-hmm. it sort of just transfers to bathing suits and okay. water. Love it. Sun tea. <gasps> Tell me more. I only drink iced tea in the summer. We used to make it in our backyard in the sun. And where you put, you just, you have like the big glass canister with the little pool pour at the bottom and then you put your tea bags in there with the water and then instead you let it seep in the sun to make the tea not sweet tea just unsweet tea and I used to love drinking that and so lately my new if I'm going to the pool since there's no beaches here I go get myself an unsweet tea for a dollar at McDonald's Uh and then I go to the pool I love that I've also seen people do individual packs where they take a water bottle one tea bag put it on the top screw the lid and put it in the sun and they have a single serving oh my gosh that's perfect do you put sugar in it I usually do add a little tiny bit, but after it's um, brewed, yes. mm-hmm. okay. I usually do it per cup, so then I can decide if I want to go completely unsweet mm. or if I'm feeling a little sweeter that day. Mm-hmm. I also, I know it's bad for you, but I love a sweet and low. Mm. Only the pink packet; it's the yeah, only one I, I'll do. I can't do sweet and lows. It's the only one. Mm. I don't like any of the others. Um, okay, last one. I will do a shout out to, and I think I've probably shouted out the past five episodes because I'm so into them right now. Ranch waters. Oh, yes. Just a little tequila, just a little Topo Chico, little lime, pop it in there, you're good to go. Topo Chico, just in general, a lot of people right. love at the beach, just yes. like all by itself. Just what is water. it about the bubblies in the heat? I don't know. There's something that I'm just sure there's helps some out. science behind that. There is. I'll do some research. Um, okay, this isn't to be eaten at the beach, but okay. let's say you want to feel like you're at the beach, but you can't be. Okay. I found when I was doing in my um, research mm-hmm. the cutest beach themed snacks. Oh, my favorite. Is Jello cups, blue Jello. Uh huh. They put a little bit of um, whipped cream on top with a <gasps> tiny bit of blue um, food coloring, so it looks okay. sort of like white waves. Yeah, yeah. And then Teddy Grahams and a paper umbrella. Cute. And it is just Teddy Grahams. And I think you could also add peachy rings and make them look like they're floating <gasps> on the water Ooh. in a little inner tube. Yes, yes, yes. Cute, so cute, should we cute. make beach themed? Done. Okay, Absolutely. Great. That feels like when you used to make those dirt cups for school with uh-huh, like pudding uh-huh, uh-huh. and then Oreos crumbled up <gasps> and then the um, gummy worms. Uh-huh. I have a perfect idea. Okay, what? This year for my birthday, I'm having a pool party. Okay, great. You are invited and I want you to bring that as the snack. Okay, perfect. Ah, yes. Done. Done. Yes, 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 Done. Yes, 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 Done. Yes, yes. That's so cute. That is so cute. You know, you could also crumble up some um, graham crackers to make a little sand. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Although we'd have to find something white for the parrot poop. Yeah. Parrot fish poop. Little sprinkles? Sure. <laughs> or something that's a like a white something to crumble up. Uh, powdered sugar. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Like a cracker. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll... White animal cookies. Mm, like the frosted ones? Uh-huh. Done. I'll do some work. Okay, I'll do great. some work. Um, okay. Fallon. Yes. Favorite beach trip you've ever been on? This is our, this will be our last question. Oh, this is so, so hard. Why would you ever do this? <laughs> okay. Maybe one not of, your favorite. Just one that's coming to mind. Okay. One of my favorites is in college. I did a mission trip, you're going to laugh, to Jamaica. <laughs> Bread in the gospel. Does your hair was your hair in braids? <laughs> no. Okay, great. We actually worked at a deaf school there. So um, Do you know any sign language? I do. I do know sign language and I took a couple courses a couple of years ago. And so yes, I can do the whole alphabet. So anyways, we were in Jamaica for um the service opportunity and we would work in the morning. We would get done at like noon and then we'd be just be at the beach from noon to three every day. So fun. Montego Bay, Jamaica beautiful i caught my first jellyfish there it was dead but i like touched it and it was all squirmy and fun um did some snorkeling it was just the best oh that sounds amazing 
to be honest, I can't really remember a lot of snacks that I brought. I feel like plantains. Oh, yeah. That's what I, like, yeah. I was in Haiti also down there. I uh-huh. ate a lot of plantains. Yeah. What about you? I'm feeling tied in my heart okay. between two. Oh, tied? But um, one is Maui, Hawaii, one of my favorite places on the earth. Can't hide money. When I <laughs> <laughs> when I went and stayed out there last winter okay. to avoid the winter here. Sure. And it, it, there's a few beaches, like kind of in a row, but there's this one cove. That I found where all the local state. I just saw par- cars parked on the side of the road, and I was yep. like, "Gonna do this." Yeah, you walk through this like, um, it, there's a path, and it says like private property, but I walked out there. Yeah, you walk through this path, and it's like this beautiful jungle. There's Gorgeous. these trees. There's like um, wild roosters around. It is. Sure. It, it is one of the most beautiful things. And then all of a sudden, you're in this cove, and out at the end of the cove, there's local surfers because there's pretty big waves. But inside the cove. You can um, lay or you can swim, and there's really great snorkeling. Cool. And it was like this magical, like, hidden thing on the side of the road that you don't know is there unless you actually park your car Ooh, and go in. That is so cool. So I love cool. finding, like, local spots I like know. That. Me was too. Was it a black sand beach? It wasn't. It was okay. pretty rocky. Um, okay. It's really funny. I'd been to the beach around. That's how I drove by it, mm-hmm. around that's white sand beaches. But this cove specifically is pretty rocky. Cool. But so from an adventure beach, it was Amazing. Yeah. And then my other one was a black sand beach in New Zealand. I've always wanted to do a black sand beach in New Zealand. Yeah. I saw a black sand beach also in Maui, but it was, I just kind of went and saw it. I was driving around looking at waterfalls. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we, I went to a black Don't sand beach. Yep. Mm-hmm. I went to a black sand beach in um, New Zealand where there was a surf open happening the weekend after. After. Cool. But it was like cool black sand. Uh, you could hike up to the top of this rock and like overlook or you could just lay. And it was just so pretty. Um, the name AC Slater is coming to my brain. I know that's not it. Who's the surfer? Not Christian Slater. <laughs> it's Isn't that something Slater? Mm-hmm. Kelly Slater. Kel- thank you. So sorry, Kelly. You were the third surfer we could think of. <laughs> no, um, just the third Slater. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> third Slater, first surfer. Um, okay. Correct me if I'm right or wrong. Black sand beaches is because it's volcanic ash? It is, yeah. Okay. It's vol- yeah, it's vol- a volcano that has then created the beach. Wow. Yeah. That is fascinating. So. Way better than bird poop. Or fish poop. <laughs> Wait, is it a bird or a fish? A fish. A parrot fish, which I looked it up and they're like, ki- I looked it up during the- while we were doing the pod. Uh-huh. They're kind of um, iridescent looking. They're really pretty fish, but. Oh, they're very pretty. And so their poop is also pretty and real soft. Very <laughs> Very soft. Um, Okay, I have to tell you something about my life that you might not know about. Okay. When I was in high school, I worked on the beach. Did you? Were you um, a lifeguard? Nope. You would hope so. I was at the snack shop. You worked at a snack shop and we're 18 episodes in and I didn't know that? Yes. The snack shop was called SOS, Shoes on Silver. Shoes was a restaurant in my hometown. Silver Beach was the The beach. beach. Shoes on Silver, SOS, like how they did that. Uh-huh. So creative. Yeah. So that's what I did for my summer job for like two years in a row. And let me just tell you the list of foods that we provided for people at the beach. Great. Are you ready? I am. A chicken wrap. Okay. So good. And we grilled them on like this big flat grill. They were so amazing. Waffle fries. I'm in. Right. Did you serve condiments? Uh, I believe we had ketchup and mustard as options. Okay. Yep. Ice cream. Now, that was a little risky, but we did do that. We both did soft serve, believe it or not, and people did order it. I 100% would. Um, if I'm already at the beach ordering it, it's when you have to get it down to the beach is when it melts. True, it's true. It's true. But my favorite, favorite item that we sold, Choco Tacos. Ugh, I love a Choco Taco. I love them so much. Like, so, so much. And it's perfect because you have the little, like, wrapper to hold in any, like, melting ice cream. So it's perfect. It is. Um nachos of course always and burgers this is a very um like dense food options like this isn't a pretzel this is a burger these are for people that didn't prepare with their salmons and their snacks coming to the beach and you know there's a lot more people that do that than you think so i mean i would order the whole menu i mean not all at once but and the best part was when i worked i would work in the morning shift be done by noon, grab my Choco Taco, my chicken wrap, and then head down to the beach and just sit for the rest of the afternoon. 
I, it really was a dream job looking back on it. That is a very, very dream job. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. Now I want to go back and watch the um, Hawaiian episodes of Saved by the Bell because you said AC Slater. <laughs> so that's where go I'm at. for it. That's where I'm at. Before you go or to the Malibu Sands Beach Club when they, for the summer, worked at the beach. Oh, I love those episodes. I do too. Oh, I love them so much. Um, always wanted Kelly's outfits because they were so cute. Okay, before you go watch your show, can I ask you a question? Sure. Jamie, what's your snack of the week? Okay, I brought my snack of the week for us to try together because I've never tried it and I wanted to try it with you. What? Okay, a few episodes ago in our international snacks, we talked about how I found so many different flavors of Kit Kats when I was in Japan. Okay. And I was just shopping in a local store. Can't remember where. She has them hidden. This is the first time I've noticed. (laughs) I thought she was holding some tissues for her nose. She covered up the candy with the tissue. I walked into the studio before Fallon did and I had to run to the restroom and I was like, if she walks in, she's going to see my snack of the week. So I covered it under some tissues. I love it. And I've been hiding it the whole episode. Okay. So my snack of the week is a... Key lime pie Kit Kat, and we are going to try it Whoa. together. Okay, here we are live. We are recording this in a visual experience so we can share with you later. Jamie Crackett over here has a flip it around. <laughs> key lime pie Kit Kat. Okay, where did you get these? I don't know. It was, I'm not on there. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was just Kroger. It had to have just been a grocery store. I've had it in my cupboard for a few weeks because I keep forgetting to bring it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But we're going to taste test it together. Okay. We here talked we about key together. lime pie in the kid episode. We talked about Kit Kats in the international episode. So here we are. Okay. One bar for you. One bar. Okay. Oh, I already smell the key lime. Look at how green it is. It's a really pretty oh, lime. Oh, it's so. Are you ready? I don't even. Uh, Wait, let me give you a little, um, <laughs> what's it called before you do something? Uh, disclaimer. Yes, thank you. I'm going to give you a disclaimer. I don't like key lime pie. Okay, great. So I'm going in pretty brave with this, but here we go. Three, two, one. Thoughts, foul? You know, it's pretty good. It's not super limey. No. Mm-mm. I love it. Wait, have you had one before? No, I'm telling you, this is, I waited. I've been waiting for you. (laughs) Said no one to me ever. Someone please say that to me someday. Someone said it. (laughs) Mm. Yeah, these are good. Flavored Kit Kat bars are the way to go. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is our first live snack of the week. It is. It is. I thought we'd get crazy. Mm. I really wish I would have brought my snack of the week now for you to try. That's okay. We can do another time. Okay. Fallon, what is your snack of the week? You need to leave this podcast studio right now. You need to get in your car and you need to drive down three miles down to Trader Joe's. Okay. To our favorite. Okay. You need to walk in the doors and you need to go down the frozen food aisle and look up on the shelf where it has all the snacks and you reach for those strawberry and vanilla yogurt pretzels. I have had those. They are so good. Jamie, I bought a bag on a Saturday and woke up on Sunday and they were gone. I ate them all in one sitting. Do you remember eating them or did you black out <laughs> while you were eating I think I might have blacked out. I think I might have blacked out. They are so good. They're not, um, as you know, but for the listener, they're not big pretzels. They're mini pretzels. And then they're covered in either a white vanilla or a strawberry cream yogurt. And then it's drizzled the opposite color. So then if it's a mm-hmm. strawberry pretzel, you drizzle it with the white. And if it's the vanilla, you drizzle it with the strawberry. Y'all, they are so good. I can't even tell you. We both went sweet for our snack mm-hmm. of the week. Look at us. Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds me of, have you ever had the um, Special K um, cereal? Strawberries. That has mm-hmm. strawberries and the yogurt clusters. Yes. It has that kind of flavoring. Y'all, so, so good. So there you go. Snack of the week. Great. Well, we did it. Um, Jamie, I'm so looking forward to seeing that snack at my birthday. Great. I can't wait to make it, and I can't wait to get to a beach sometime soon. Let's go. Okay, great. Okay. Let's get in our car right now. Let's we'll be Here we go. We'll be the one in seven hours. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you soon. I'll eat more snacks before then.